You can feel the nervous energy start to pick up in the kitchen. Whew. All of a sudden, oopsie daisy. The grease filters drop back into the consomme. Sakes. I'm desperately trying to drain the stuff through some of the handy towels. It's a disaster. Double check everything, go through it systematically, make sure everything is perfect. For me, there is enough of most elements to do some practice plates. Plating in this dish is of utmost importance. Can't remember how it was plated, so I'm really struggling with them. Jemima, hand crumb, potato, serrano ham, leeks and shaved parmesan. Oh. Coffee Leaks. of egg Leaks. with a truffle on top. Yeah, you're amazing. Simon's plating is so clear cut and beautiful. I hope that my dish lives up at least a little bit to his expectations. It's about the little details. It could be the difference between staying or going home. Those tiny, tiny details. It's plated and I'm confident with the way it looks. I'll just start tasting how it is all together and I suddenly start doubting myself. Then I start pulling things off the plate to start adding a bit more seasoning. I'm really happy that I have this time to make these little adjustments. I hope it's enough. I'm walking my dish up and I'm worried that my consomme doesn't have enough flavour. I expect more of myself than this. Breathe out, Tim. How was that, your first <laughs> pressure test? Oh, mate, first time I've been under that much pressure in a while. Did it go well for you? I feel like the puree's a little bit runny. Um, and not as much flavour in the consomme as, as I'd like. Well, if you could uh, just pour on a little bit of consomme. Sure. Thanks, guys. Cheers, Appreciate it. Enjoy. Time. Thanks, Tim. He said he struggled with the potato. He just lacks a little bit of, uh, of that smoky, smoky finish. Ham consomme is good. And look, is that good? the yolk? Yeah, I think the egg is perfect. Yeah, the smokiness comes through, but it disappears quite quickly as well. Yep. I think you had more of the crumb on there. Not a bad effort overall, is it? I think it was a good effort. Hello, gentlemen. Amy, first pressure test. How did that feel? It felt like a pressure test, absolutely. I think it looks great. So if you could pour your consomme on. One Thanks, Amy. Thank you very much. And she's got a, a good ratio of her ingredients. I think that's good. I'm, I'm not too sure about the whole, the whole flour on there. That's pretty typical of Amy, I'd have to say. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Eggs perfect. She boiled the hell out of her consomme, but I think she's been pretty lucky, actually. Yeah, she has. She's come out OK with that. If the judges like my dish, I would be, like, really, really surprised. The consomme just um, consumed me. I think this will be my last challenge. Leo, one of the biggest days of your life? Yes, it is. Yeah, that was a um, massive pressure. I think I didn't handle it very well. well as you can see, would be the, one of the elements of the dish. Would I be correct in saying you wouldn't have ever made a, a dish as refined and as, as no. exact as that? I'm always sticking to my roots of doing something with bold flavours. You can't be a one-trick pony. Could you pour the consomme on there and then leave us to taste? Sure. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Leo. Well done, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Leo. Leo. I mean, it looks pretty. It's got the components in balance. Talk to us about the consomme. Obviously, that's probably the letdown, is it? It's completely messed the consomme up, unfortunately. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't have any flavour whatsoever, really, to be honest. I think the, the consomme consumed me, and I think I'm going home today. Oh, the egg yolk's great. The mash has got a nice, smoky little flavour through there. The consomme to the side, from where he's come from and what he's done, I think there's some pretty good components in there as well. I, I, I agree. Thanks very Thanks much. Thanks so much, Thanks Thank Richard. You. Cheers. Gee, look at that. That looks pretty nice. He's got great flavour in the consomme. His sort of ratio is a little bit out, you know, tiny little piece yeah. of potato and links are just a little bit under. But I think that's the clearest one of the day. Yeah. It's the star of the show. Consomme of the day, no question. No question, yep. How do you think you went with us today? Uh, I think out of 10, it's probably an 8. 8 out of 10? Yeah. I love the confidence <laughs> in this room. That's fantastic. Gideon, do you think this dish keeps you in the competition? I think it should keep me in the competition, yeah. I believe I've got what it takes to be here. Thanks, Gideon. It's a little bit messy. I don't really know what happened to the, the rest of the consomme. I look at the consomme. I would say that he hasn't cooked his egg out and his, you've still got egg in there. Yeah, it does. It actually tastes a lot better than it looks. Yeah. It's actually quite deceiving. 
Yeah, it's not, it's not actually that, that clear cut. I think there's definitely some top, there's a, there's a good middle, but there's actually a few in the bottom yeah. that we really need to consider. A few things need to be thought about. Yeah, because all of them have put something up that's good, but it's a matter of looking at them as a whole. Well, so, Simon, it's just been an absolute pleasure to have oh, you in the MasterChef kitchen. And um, to, to spend some time with you is a total honour. So thanks oh, so much It's been a real pleasure. Hey, thanks, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, it's been Simon. awesome to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Cheers, Simon. Simon. Thank you. It's a good feeling that I'm safe, but it's, I'm really nervous for all the other contestants. None of them really know who exactly is safe. I walk into elimination and my gut is churning. I don't know if I've done enough. I'm feeling like I'm OK today, but I never know because I don't know what the judges think. I think it's better to hope for the best, but expect the worst. <laughs> If someone told you that it would be this tough to cook an egg, you simply wouldn't have believed it. But you all gave it a good, honest go. You did a stellar job of emulating Simon Wright's beautiful dish. Well done. We are resoundingly proud of you all. It's just a shame that one of you has to go home. Merrin, Sarah, Glenda, Richard, step forward. I'm glad that I'm asked to step forward because I know that Marin and Richard who worked next to me had an amazing consomme. Richard, your consomme was the best of the day. Well done. Thank you. Consomme of the day. I'm absolutely wrapped. Sarah and Glenda, your dishes were perfectly balanced. Sorry. But Marin, you stole the show. Yours was the best dish of the day. After my disaster this morning, I can't believe that I've just won this challenge. This is amazing. We'll see you all next time. You're all safe. And Merrin, you'll have the honour of dining at the French Cafe and you can take one of your housemates with you. <laughs> That's not fair. I want to take more than one. Tim, Lily. Gemma, Chris, and Amy. When Al calls my name, I think the worst. I'm really in for it. Although I am feeling secure, my heart is still thumping. Little things let you down here and there, but overall, you guys should be very, very proud of your renditions. Do you live to fight another day? Join the others, please. I had a nightmare of the day injuring myself. It was such a struggle, and I'm absolutely exhausted, but I've made it there in the end, and I'm absolutely wrapped. So we left stand there. It's clear that we're the bottom three and that one of us will be going home. And we've got so much more to go. I don't want to go yet. Jemima, you were just middle of the road, a little bit out of kilter with the seasoning, and we all agreed that you just need to turn the volume up a little bit. But luckily for you, your consomme saved you. You can go and join the others. So, so relieving. Best thing I've ever heard. I'm just going to cry. Gideon, you gave yourself an 8 out of 10. Sadly, we didn't. Sloppy plating, nothing cooked quite right. In fact, the consomme wasn't cooked out at all, and it had little floaties in it. Leo, your consomme was scary, and you know that. Even I was scared when I saw my consomme. Like, mm. The rest of your dish was better, but is that enough to get you through? I hope so. Yes, it was. <gasps> Congratulations, Leo, you're through, but just by the skin of your teeth. Thank you very much. Please join the others. I think I, I was the luckiest person out there. I even felt like I am luckier than Marin going to the restaurant because, you know, I get to cook another day. Gideon, on any other day, I believe you would have been safe, but the standard is just so high. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on board. For now, though, mate, it is time to leave the MasterChef kitchen. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.
Being on MasterChef has been an amazing experience. Sometimes you've just got an inkling that maybe you've done enough, but maybe not enough. And that's exactly what happened today.